Motorola launched its low-res series phone Moto E in May 2014. It was the first phone in the series, and I bought it after two weeks of its launch. And due to some reasons, I am still using it as my daily driver. No, nothing's wrong with me. I get mixed feelings while using Moto E for more than two years now. So I will share my thoughts, experience using this phone even after 15 months. My name is Sujay. Let's get started. I honestly didn't want to use stock Android when I can get Cyanogen mod on my phone. First I flashed CM11, then 12, and currently my Moto is rocking with Marshmallow 6.0.1 with Cyanogen mod 13. I can see a speed improvement in latest Cyanogen mod. Cyanogen mod enabled me to customize my phone to a whole new level. With Cyanogen mod I get way more features than stock Android and make my mobile faster. For example gestures like hand wave to see notifications, adjusting brightness by sliding across the status bar different battery indicators, downloading apps directly to SD card, and having my favorite games boot animation while rebooting. That's Watch Dogs. There are actually tons of features which you can play with in Cyanogen mod. It will need a separate video for that. Talking about the body, it's not sturdy but promises to be long lasting. Mobile is compact and smoothly operated by one hand and doesn't slip off from one hand. Power and volume buttons are rugged. Though fiber made back panel can get damaged quickly, on front side it has Gorilla Glass 3. So I wasn't afraid of scratches and few drops, but still I applied a scratch guard for more safety. Fortunately Moto E comes with a notification light. Many phones didn't have at this price range 2 years back. So body of Moto E is promising, durable and I didn't have any issues. Besides long lasting body, it can handle splashes of water. So I have my mobile covered in rain. Moto E has got a speaker in the front which is not the loudest among the range but has balanced sound quality. Front speaker makes watching YouTube videos enjoyable and also found to be helpful to hear the incoming calls. Speaking of calls, Moto E is not behind in that category. Voice calls are very clear and doesn't have any disturbance. With 1GB RAM, dual core processor and Snapdragon 200, I just can't expect it to be like any high range phone. With Cyanogen mod, it is a bit faster but still I have to be patient a lot of times. Apps take time to open. RAM management is poor, overall is slow and laggy. But since I flashed latest Cyanogen mod, there is a lot of improvement in speed. Currently I don't play games on this phone. But all the big games take a lot of time to load and lags a lot, but small games run smoothly. Storage is one of the downside of Moto E which has got 4GB internal storage but only 2GB is usable. So there was no other option but to use memory card. In Cyanogen mod I can directly download apps in my SD card, but I have to mention all the apps aren't downloaded in SD card. So when I have to install more apps, storage issue still persists. Coming down to display, it has got 4.3 inches screen with resolution of 960 into 540, which means no 720p. Yes, no 720p. So unfortunately, I have to watch YouTube videos in 480p. But using video players like IMAX Player VLC, I can watch videos in HD. In spite of having less resolution, display is sharp as well as bright. As far as watching TV shows is first priority on this phone, I am good to go. I am mainly using this phone to watch YouTube videos and TV shows. Talking about the TV shows, have you watched Breaking Bad yet? You must watch, it's masterpiece. Moving ahead to battery, I get average battery life of 5-6 to six hours a day. If I use my phone without playing games and watching YouTube, it may last an entire day. There's nothing good to talk about the only camera of Moto E. It has got no flash, it's not even autofocus, so forget about the close up shots. I have never used the camera on this phone. With bright light, I can capture average pictures but I always have to tell my friends to share notes and notices. So that was my experience using Moto E for more than 2 years. If I cut off playing games and using camera, it's good but at times it's slow and I have to be patient. I don't know how many more months I will use it for. That's it for this video, if you enjoyed give it a like and share to your friends who are still using Moto E first generation who I don't think so still exist. Subscribe for more videos like this. This was Sujay, see you in my next video.